Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> oh my God, like this is gonna be a really quick trip. I thought not to vlog it, but I'm like, I'm, my goal this until the end of the year is to vlog as much as I can. Uh, so I wanna give you guys like an idea of what all my trips are like, not just the three day trips. Um, tonight I'm doing a lean. I almost started it where I was, which was at my dad's. Um, we were having like Saturday dinner. He was grilling and whatever. Um, but he doesn't live far from my uh, from the job from my job, so I basically just brought my uniform over there, and then after we were hanging out and stuff, I just got dressed, and now I'm here. Um, my sign is signing is at 7:45. I'm sorry, 7:48, and it's um 7:15 right now. Perfect. I'll just grab this spot. But yeah, so we're doing a lean, and um, if you're new here. Uh, sorry if you're new here welcome and if you aren't welcome back but a lean is basically when we fly somewhere far um not far but we fly somewhere um typically the route is under like two hours and then you lay over in that place for like five to eight hours it's basically enough time to sleep so it's usually a late report um this isn't like a super late report it's actually usually leans are usually like 9 p.m report 10 p.m report but this report was 7.45, um, which was really interesting because I lay over, I think, for eight hours, which is more than enough time to get rest. Um, but yeah, basically, a lean is when you fly somewhere, you lay over for minimum rest, and you come back. So I'll be back in Atlanta. I'm flying to Chicago, by the way. So I'm laying over in Chicago overnight, just basically sleeping. And then I wake up in the morning, and I fly back to Atlanta, and then that's the trip. Um, once upon a time, our leans, I think they used to be worth like four forty five. I don't do leans often, so um, whenever I do fly them, it's just like for an extra money or just super convenient because you only are working overnight. Um, but yeah, I feel like they were worth like maybe four forty five, four hours and forty five minutes. But now they're worth way more, not way more, but six hours and something. So. Yeah, that's really like a quick little hop somewhere, sleep and come back for six hours. Need that, right? <laughs> oh, but yeah, we're about to go in. I will see y'all in the airport. Guys, I forgot to say, I went and got me some heels. Yes, so nobody can talk crap about me anymore. Um, I'm gonna insert the clip of the shoes that I got, but I'm also gonna show y'all right now. Um, because I packed both of them. And also typically with a lean, you would bring like a smaller suitcase. I know a lot of flight attendants get the smaller size, um, but I don't, I don't have the smaller one yet. But yeah, I brought my full suitcase. It's all good. But let me show you guys. So these are the heels, y'all. Oh. <laughs> I love them. I got them super big. They're like literally a size and a half bigger than my real size, which I said in the clip, but. Okay, y'all made it to the concourse. Well, not to my concourse. It was so interesting because the A bus was supposed to come get us. Um, but the B bus did. But good thing my gate changed to D unexpectedly. So now we're going to have to catch the train to D. Um, it feels like it's going to be an easy flight. It's on 320, so it's basically a small flight. I didn't even look to see if it's full or not. The, like a little bit of the hot sauce corn. So the flight was delayed for an hour. So, you know what I did? And I'm not even starving, which is actually the funny part. Because when I made so much food. But... It's like a go kitty. She made like salmon, potato salad, and like a side salad. So, I didn't eat heavy. I got some little chipotle. Yeah. No matter what the 
morning, you guys. Made it to the jet bridge. I had a passenger like talk my head off about all the delays he's had this summer. And to that I say, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> sorry to that man. All right, but yeah, let's fly. Let's meet the crew. to my hotel why why can't it just be a simple trip this is supposed to just be fly to chicago lay over and come back we had a two and a half hour delay y'all a mess but we have made it i'm dealing with doubles today very very old school but yeah <laughs> that's just like a quick understanding of how leans go it was actually really hectic even getting a shuttle like the shuttle we have two types of pickups when it comes to being a flight attendant. We have our designated pickups, which are scheduled by our company, and they are only for us. We are the only people in that vehicle. And then there's also shuttle pickups, which run like every 20 to 30 minutes with a hotel. And it typically is like a airport hotel usually do them or like just shorter layovers have them. But the issue with that is there's also regular people trying to get on. So I had to step up and be like, hey, we're crew. We don't we literally have four hours to rest. Like, is there? And then so usually the drivers are really helpful with us. They're like, hey, crew first because they have to get rest and people get it. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm about to take a quick little nap a and then we're back at it again in the morning. <laughs> it is midnight, 10, 10 minutes behind midnight. So... Yeah, see y'all in the wee hours of the morning. Pickup is at 4.30. So literally I have no time to sleep. <sighs> lean life. How are my lean queens and kings doing? I need to know how y'all deal with this. And also I'm going to write a facts report. I feel like we deserve designated pickups. If anything on leans, we deserve our own pickup. How do y'all feel about that? If you fly, please comment below and let me know what you think. Because this is kind of crazy. All right, y'all bye. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. <laughs> it is 4 30. I'm literally about to just go back downstairs. I slipped on everything really quickly. And yeah, now we're about to fly back home. I'm literally is I'm I don't know what it is about lean over asleep, but let me tell you something. It is always so good. <laughs> like it's always better than your regular sleep like on the layover that i have over 15 hours to rest never sleep like that never <laughs> but i am feeling rested the only thing is like it kind of kicks in once you get home that you didn't really sleep and then you have to sleep so that's like the main thing about lean overs and that's it y'all let's go <laughs> trip is done it was kind of crazy because at the end of the leg like four people were in the back looking for their airpods word of advice <sighs> we're about to land just take them out i can't even just like begin to tell y'all how many airpods the cleaning people find on the aircrafts like i remember one time this guy held up an entire bag of them like i have airpods as y'all know i love airpods but you better believe when the plane begins to descend, I'm taking them out my ear because it's so many things that can happen. Like they can fall. You can just, it's just, it's just a guaranteed way to lose them. I'm letting you know because 
we see it all the time and it's like i'll never say don't get them but i will definitely say just watch when we descend because i can't tell you how many times they've gone down a crack and nobody can retrieve them <laughs> uh but yeah if you guys have made it this far make sure you subscribe um i know this is the first time i did a lean uh vlog so i hope y'all enjoyed it let me know if y'all want more i honestly after today i might not fly a lean for like a year because it's just ridiculous how many delays a simple trip can have like the more simple a trip the more that's gonna happen i guarantee you but yeah guys it was such a pleasure um i will be going live very soon i'm coming up with a date i feel like i'm gonna do it i don't know i'm gonna figure it out but <laughs> stay tuned for that i will definitely keep y'all in the loop i'm probably gonna make like a post on what you call it i also got so many compliments on my venus necklace today that was really sweet I think people really notice it because they know Venus. So I wear Venus the most. And, then, you know, it's for women, empowerment, things like that. But yeah, guys, I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.